In this video, I'll show you how to send nested blocks from Rhino to Revit using Conveyor version 4. In the example, we have two different types of blocks instantiated within Rhino. These objects were originally drawn in SketchUp and then imported into Rhino. Generally, anything that was modeled as a component in SketchUp imports as a block into the Rhino environment and can sometimes create very complicated block nesting structures where there are components within components within components and so on. This block, the plate loader, has many different blocks nested within it, while this block, the elliptical, has no blocks nested within it and is composed of a series of meshes. I can select all of these blocks together and confirm their settings in the conveyor panel. The category is set to component families and these blocks will be imported as families into Revit. The type is set to specialty equipment and that's the type that it will fall under in Revit. If I open the drop down menu, you can see that there are many other options you could select from. We can hit send to Revit. A window will open asking if you want to load these block definitions into the file. And to confirm, you can select load. Now that it's processed, you can see that the geometry has loaded into Revit. And if I select on any of these, you can see that they are each an instance of a family that has been created for each block.